Tom, good morning. Hi, PJ. How are things? Good, good, good. I suppose, PJ, there's bits of it that into our popular culture, unknown to us all. Really? Uh, I don't know if uh, your mother, your grandmother, or your grandfather might ever said, if you're acting up, you're all acting like a bunch of balubas. Yeah. Uh, that's the... Tr- uh, it has a longer history. That's the tribe that was involved in the big ambush that actually happened around nine months before the siege. Right. Um, <clears throat> my, my, my late father-in-law served in, in the Congo, um, and I remember him talking about the Balubas. There were... There were there were, and the Pygmies were just beside them, actually, yeah. geographically. Uh, they were, they were, and that was their name. That wasn't a nickname. That no, wasn't a drug. No, no, that, was that was the name of the tribe. Yeah, yeah. the lupus. So do you actually, and do you remember there was a guy that was always in the sheep's uh, Warren Zevron. Yeah, Warren Zevron. Yeah, yeah. He'd be hit it around the time uh, Roland the Thompson Gunner. Yeah, what a song! There. Yeah, that's. That's all about the uh, the other side, actually, the side uh, of the mercenaries that fought uh, at the time. Back in the old days of pirate radio, when you could play what you liked whenever you wanted, we used to play a load of Warrens, Eva. Yeah, so that's uh, so it actually entered our popular culture, unknown to us. We we didn't know where the Balubas came from or why, who were these people. <laughs> it's a great were. name. We, 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 but it was an awful ambush about yeah. nine months before, and where there was nine Irish troops killed. I remember that. Yeah, and they were killed. Horrifically, with, with pies and arrows and darts and axes. And they were shot with curare arrows, remember that, yeah. So, I suppose, on a, on a political level, I suppose, uh, after that, I don't, I don't, maybe the politicians thought the public couldn't handle a surrender. or That asked an awful lot of questions about what we were doing out there and why we were there. And the, the, I suppose maybe the political climate was against them. Now, I saw the film this morning, or yes. last night, actually. Yeah. And it would remind me of you know, you, uh, that film that's all, but everyone has seen it in the bank holiday, Zulu. Yeah. It would remind you of that in its structure, you know, of a, a small force surrounded by a much larger one and uh, an officer uh, getting his men together to, 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 to hold them together and hold the line. All right. Um, but it, it actually... Lieutenant Gleeson and, and, and the men that were killed at, in Nyamba at that bridge, again, their reputations were slightly... Dis- they were outnumbered. I think there was only 11 of them there. There was two survivors, or three survivors, uh, of, of the platoon that went out to um, uh, look at this bridge. They had to leave their jeeps mm. and uh, continued in on this path, and they were surrounded by... This was the Nyamba massacre. ...two or three hundred of these yeah. uh, balubas. And uh, I think two or three escaped, yeah. uh, survived afterwards, and one body wasn't recovered for about two and a half, three years. Mm. He'd managed to escape to a nearby village where he was, uh, where he was killed. Yeah. Um, so it, like, it, was, it was a fairly traumatic time. I mean, there weren't... Well, when there you weren't look back ki- over the history of, of our peacekeeping service, and guys, for example, I mean, there was a lot of people, a lot, well, quite a number of, of, of young men died in the service of the UN in, in Lebanon over the years, but... Uh, and that's the one we focus on when we talk about the peacekeeping. But, but the Congo was a brutal place. I often remember meeting lads in Dublin in the late 80s and 90s, guys who'd served. And I got to know a few lads from Kilkenny who, who I met their fathers in who'd served as well. And they didn't talk about it. it, was, it was, a lot of these guys had never been in planes. That's right. You know, and they went out with Irish, you know, they were with boots and, and woolen clothes and, you the, know. They, the, the bull's wool. They yeah. literally weren't equipped for. for they were complete. Water. They were completely out of their comfort zone. In, Tom, I want to get to. I want to try and get to Morris before I finish, um, and and because uh, there's a memorial, I think. So listen, thank you for your call, and uh, yeah, nice of you to to remind us that that, that you're behaving like a pack of balubas. That comes from the Congo. Thanks, Tom. We'll talk again.